All right, Phillips family. Uh, I wanted to show you what we got going on with Maggie today. Um, we're having a lot of fun. This, this stage of development is is really one of my personal favorites and one of most everyone else's least favorites. This is what's usually known as the wild Indian phase. Um, Maggie is exactly where she should be at this point, just a wild Indian. Um, and nuts about retrieving, um, just having a good time. Um, not a lot of rules to it yet. Um, so what we're doing today is we are introducing water, obviously. And I can tell you that we have us a water dog. Um, the water's warmed up and is, is getting nice. Um, you know, good enough for the young dogs to get in and use it. Um, <clears throat> and Maggie, not surprisingly, is is absolutely fearless for getting in the water. Um, what I also see is she has a very natural swimming stroke right there. That's all swimming water. Um, and she there's no puppy slap at all already. So that's actually a really good sign. Um, I think she's going to be a very strong swimmer, a strong dog in the water. Um, this is really good. So this is a very encouraging thing. Uh, also, in our little training pond here, of course, we have decoys. We have some old trashy decoys that we just leave in the pond um, so that the dogs are used to it from the time that they're puppies. So it's it's no big deal for them. So they're, it's just part of the landscape. Um, this actually is a good little example here. So one of the things that shows um, her, her strong water tendency here, this is what we kind of call a, a, a cheaty mark, meaning that there, the dog could have cheated. She could have, right here, baby, Maggie, here. Uh, she could have cheated to that bank and ran around and got in there, um, but she swam. Good girl. And then she swam her way back. This this is, is again, this is only, I'm only doing this as um, exposure. I'm not forcing the issue with anything at this point. This is just encouragement. Um, and right there, I encouraged her to swim back to me, to turn and swim back to me. Um, and she did it very easily. Um, these are tools that we evaluate young dogs to see how strong of a tendency do they have to stay in the water or get out of the water. Um, generally speaking, dogs that stay in the water are considered more desirable because they have a, a, a straighter, more direct line when going to the bird. So Maggie would just stay out here all day fetching bumpers out of the pond. Um, obviously, we got a long way to go on delivering it straight to me and, and having a, you know, a polished delivery to hand. But in terms of you know, jump in the pond, go get the bumper. That is no problemo. We are having a good time. She really is a, a nice dog. I mean, obviously I'm partial because, you know, she's out of my stud dog. Good girl! Good! But even, even having said that, as many dogs as I see and train, she's... She's good. She's she's legitimately good. So um, I'm really happy with her. Hey, um, and speaking of that, one of the things I need to ask you guys about is um, I was under the impression that you were wanting to have her spayed. Um, if you're wanting to have her spayed, um, well, I can work on getting that scheduled, um, but I don't know that I can get it done right now with all of this uh, virus stuff that's going on. Our vet is only doing emergencies and urgent and the spay and neuter, they don't, they, they're not doing those right now. So, um, that's something to think about. Um, spay and neuter, uh, if you spay a young female, um, uh, if you do it before they have a heat cycle, it is super easy for them to recover. They don't even notice. Um, if you spay after the first heat cycle, uh, there are supposedly some some benefits health wise. Um, it just kind of depends on what you want to do. Um, but I, I was thinking that you were wanting to have her spayed. You weren't interested in breeding. Um, so that's something to be thinking about. We're getting to that age where you could make that decision if you wanted to. But anyway, Maggie's having a good time. We got us water dog.